Well, then everyone loses their minds. Introduce a little anarchy. Upset the established order, and everything becomes chaos. I'm an agent of chaos. Oh, and you know the thing about chaos? It's fear. We've had a number of fires set. We've had a bad amount of looting. Just widespread civil disobedience. And... been watching the news a lot like everyone else this last week and we're seeing the riots erupt across the country and um, you know the the protest has turned violent they have turned into riots and looting and so when it becomes riots and looting uh, the cause dies um, because it's not about it's not about black lives, it's not about justice, it's about evil now. A lot of the people that are rioting and looting uh, care less about George. Um, they could care less about any black life. I mean, when you're busting in, into malls and and you're killing other black people, I mean, here in my own city. I'm watching the city I love burn to the ground. ...where, as we saw in Ferguson, it was hard for pol for fire crews to get in there because it simply wasn't safe. And that right. fire is spreading right now. Because uh, people want uh, to steal, kill, and destroy. How How is it, if you say that black lives matter, that you're killing black people? That's just disgusting. It's when the violent protesters made their way to North City, this former St. Louis police captain was shot and killed outside a pawn shop. Even more disturbing, the last minutes of his life were streaming online. Disgusting to kill anyone. And you see people being beat uh, to death. And you think that's justice? You think that's going to that's gonna support your cause and people are going to listen to you? All people do is think that you guys are insane. I mean, if you want to make a difference in the change, you got to do it peacefully because no one's going to take you serious. All they're going to think of you as a terrorist. I want to say most people that I think that are out there that want justice, uh, or I should say people that are out there that do want justice, that are protesting peacefully, I've seen a lot of awesome things in the last couple of days as well. Um, but I've seen a lot of things that are horrific and evil too. Um, it's downright scary. If you don't got the right uniform on in some of these places, that, I mean, they're willing to kill you too. So a lot of people were asking me then, um, you know, about these rioters. Why are they doing this? And I think legitimately there are people out there that are frustrated and upset, but there's some of them out there that remind me of this scene from Batman. A long time ago, I was in Burma. My friends and I were working for the local government. They were trying to buy the loyalty of tribal leaders by bribing them with precious stones. But their caravans were being raided in a forest north of Rangoon by a bandit. So we went looking for the stones. But in six months, we never met anyone who traded with him. One day, I saw a child playing with a ruby the size of a tangerine. The bandit had been throwing them away. So why steal them? Well, because he thought it was good sport. Because some men aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, some people just want to watch the world burn. And 
that's when it's scary it's freaky they're they're like the joker you know so what is the answer i have the answer it's simple and some of you're going to roll your eyes and some of you're going to say it's not that simple but you see all those protesters or the cops they're saying hey get on one knee get on one knee how about let's get on two knees let's get on both knees let's pray because jesus is the answer i promise you if we all turn to christ if we all humble ourselves and pray god will hear it heal our nation uh he'll heal the racial divide uh the people that are in pain and like i said it's no joke is there a racial discrimination yes but it comes down to a sin problem it comes down to hatred in their heart because they truly don't have jesus in their heart because if you have jesus in your heart if you truly have jesus in your heart the world would be a better place i promise you that um, I love you guys. Let's pray for our nation. Let's pray and stand with the black community. And let's just lift them up and pray and pray that that God uh, will bring an end to all these chaos, riots, and looting. Protest, but protest with Jesus. There's a lot of Christians out there that love you guys and want to see uh, justice as well. God bless you guys. I continue to say that riots are socially destructive and self-defeating. I'm still convinced that non-violence is the most potent weapon available to oppress people in their struggle for freedom and justice. I feel that violence will only create more social problems than they will solve, that in a real sense it is impractical for the Negro to even think of mounting a violent revolution in the United States. So I will continue to condemn riots and continue to say to my brothers and sisters that this is not the way. I continue to affirm that there is another way. But at the same time, it is as necessary for me to be as vigorous in condemning the conditions which cause persons to feel that they must ga engage in riotous activities as it is for me to condemn riots. I think America must see that riots do not develop out of thin air. Certain conditions continue to exist in our society which must be condemned as vigorously as we condemn riots. But in the final analysis, a riot is the language of the unheard. And what is it that America has failed to hear? It has failed to hear that the plight of the Negro poor has worsened over the last few years. It has failed to hear that the promises of freedom and justice have not been met. And it has failed to hear that large segments of white society are more concerned about tranquility and the status quo than about justice, equality, and humanity. And so in a real sense, our nation's summers of riots are caused by our nation's winters of delay. And as long as America postpones justice, we stand in the position of having these recurrences of violence and riots over and over again. Social justice and progress are the absolute guarantors of riot prevention.